This one is a GMAT problem solving practice question from the topic permutation combination. Rearranging letters of the word with a constraint thrown in is what is the concept tested in the question. In how many ways can the letters of the word abacus be rearranged such that the vowels always appear together is what is the question. Abacus is a six letter word. A, B, A, C, U, S. Vowel, vowel, vowel. It says that the vowel should appear together, essentially meaning that this rearrangement is not a permitted one for this question. A, A, U, the three vowels need to appear together. So something like this would be permitted. A, A, U, B, S, C is an accepted rearrangement for this particular question. How do we go about doing this? We want the vowels to appear together. So we'll make sure that the vowels appear together. We'll box them as one unit and let's say we'll call this unit as an X. So the AAU, it's like we put a cello tape around it and we are moving it together. So they cannot be separated by any other letters in between them. So this unit of X and this BSC, right, essentially three consonants and this X, which is a unit of three vowels, are four distinct letters. These four can reorder in essentially four factorial ways. Now that's not the end of the story. This unit X, right, which is your AAU, need not just be as AAU. Right, A A U B C S is one. I could rewrite it as A U A and B C S. Again, the vowels are as one unit, but this is slightly different arrangement because within the unit of vowels, the vowels are not appearing as A A U, they are appearing as A U A. So, how many ways can this unit of the three vowels reorder? Three letters, so three factorial, but two of these letters are same. So, this A A U as a unit can reorder in three factorial ways because it's a three letter word divided by two factorial because two of these letters are same. So this X B C S can reorder in four factorial ways. This X within it which is A A U can reorder in three factorial upon two factorial ways. So total number of ways in which the letters of the word abacus can be reordered such that those arrangements which have the vowels together, if you want to find those count, that is going to be 4 factorial times 3 factorial upon 2 factorial. Take a look at the answer options, which one basically matches 4 factorial times 3 factorial upon 2 factorial. Choice D is the correct answer to this question.